Stalker River Jazz. Uh, again, that was like a joint idea that Joe Dagnall and I had. We were brainstorming one day about, wow, wouldn't it be great to <clears throat> form a, a, a local community band and bring back some of the music from the 30s and the 40s. We're going to hear the music of the Saco River Jazz Ensemble. We started doing that, uh, trying to find people and just the right you know, complement of instruments to form a big band. And we started buying some, a few arrangements, getting it together. Sonny and I would always reminisce and talk and say, why don't we try and put something like this together? And so that's how it all started. We had a few people from uh, the ensemble that we had at church and we started uh, recruiting people and we started getting some high school students and uh, older guys like myself. And, and once we went out and actually exposed it to people, we began to sense well, you know, maybe this is something that could be important. We started going around to various venues, and as the word got out that we had formed a big band and we were going around, they would call us. Can you come to our place? Can you come to our place? We wanted to play for people that really appreciated that style of music. And the nursing homes, it was, you know, I, I really enjoy going there because we get to talk to the people during our breaks and afterwards. Initially, we had no expectations. We were invited to go and it was gonna be just pure entertainment. And then we began to be exposed to various elements of the senior citizen community. Once we became aware and people began to talk to us about the importance of what we were doing, then we became much more observant you know, of, of the audience. Now that we have connected with the Maine Alzheimer's Association and with Pat Mulholland, you know, that's going to give us greater insights as we learn. Uh, then we'll be even more effective in what we're doing. Music therapy is really the intentional use of music to meet non-musical treatment goals. It's extremely effective. It's also very effective with autistic children and adults. It's uh, used quite a bit with the psychiatric population. It's being used a lot now I think with vets coming back. It's also used in the medical setting. Dementia is a general term that's used to describe many symptoms that occur in many different kinds of conditions. Alzheimer's is a dementia and it's the most common type. It is a progressive disease and is terminal. There is no cure for Alzheimer's. But essentially Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain that affects memory, thinking and behavior. Across the country, there are over five million people who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. As we became aware of people with Alzheimer's, people with dementia, people that were going through rehabilitation from brain trauma incidences and so forth, and, and having the facilities people talk to us and explain to us the benefit that these people were getting from what we were doing, that needed to become a very important part of our programming. When we start playing and they start moving and tapping their foot and having a good time and they just leave with smiles on their faces and it's just, it's nice to see. I think it's very important that they get to come out and listen to live music. I like to make as many concerts as I can and it's just a wonderful thing that the Saco River Jazz Ensemble is doing. We go to all of the uh, groups that come here. We enjoy it. We, we like having people come in. Music is the best thing I ever had. I love to hear them as often as I can because they're all very fine musicians. As far as our goals and how we want to move forward, we have realized that we've kind of reached a plateau in our ability to really increase, you know, the therapeutic value of what we're doing. We've reached a certain level, but we know that we can become you know, more valuable, you know, to these people. So as we're playing these songs, if we're playing instrumental, in their minds, everybody's singing the songs as we're playing. And by adding a vocalist, it would allow them to hear those lyrics, and it just adds a whole new dimension, and also allows the vocalist to be kind of a focal point for the band and be more of an entertainer and connect with the audience more than instrumentalists can. We want to do that as quickly as we can, but it takes money. We don't charge for what we do. We're nonprofit. The instrumental is good. It's getting through. 
but it's only reaching you know, a certain level in, in the therapeutic value that it's providing. Three. 